Web swinging has to be the most known aspect of Spider-Man to date. You know web swinging. Even if you don't know anything about Spider-Man, you know web swinging. So, with the recent release of Marvel Spider-Man 2, I would like to take a deep dive of the web swinging in those games and why it's so good. But first, we need to go back in time a little bit. We need to go back to June 29th, 2004, the day Spider-Man 2, the game, released. To some, Spider-Man 2's swinging system is still the best swinging system of all time. Not only did it revolutionize swinging systems to date, but it also has amazing features that actually return in Spider-Man 2. This was the first game to actually introduce a momentum-based swinging game, aside from this, th this bullshit. This time around, webs don't stick to atoms and they actually stick to buildings, making the swinging experience way more realistic. Also, the swinging in this game is fast, just like Web of Shadows and Marvel Spider-Man 2. Except, it's not easy to get this fast. The swinging system is really hard to master, and kinda hard to pick up too. Overall, Spider-Man 2 revolutionized swinging to come for years. It's very complex, but also very simple. I'm gonna give this swinging system an 8.5 out of 10. On October 21st, 2008, Spider-Man Web of Shadows was released to the public. Not only did it have the most amazing combat to ever be seen in any Spider-Man game, but it also had a really good swinging system. Now, I've already done a video discussing Web of Shadows swinging and combat, but in this video, I'm going to go more in-depth on the swing and explaining why it's good more, because that video kind of sucked. Once again, the swing is fast and satisfying to use. You can actually upgrade the speed this time around. The system offers a low skill floor but high skill ceiling, which means it's easy to pick up but hard to master. It offers control, style, and it's really fun to play in general. I definitely recommend this swinging system. But if you don't have a skill issue like me, then play, play Spider-Man 2. I'm gonna give this swinging system a 9.5 out of 10. It's so much fun and it's really easy to pick up. And there you go, I explained the swing system better in 30 seconds than I could in a 4 minute video. Marvel Spider-Man 2018 and Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales 2020 both have basically identical swinging systems, with Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales improving on the first game with just a few little tiny tweaks. That's why I'm going to discuss both of these swing systems in the same section, but mostly Miles Morales, because it offers a handful of techniques that help you traverse the New York quickly. Most notably are the Spider Dash and Spider Jump, which weren't in the first game. These help you gain speed and height without having to web zip or point launch. This game also offers a trick system. It's better than the first game because it offers more tricks to do and it's more fluid and it looks more natural. Although, despite all of these strengths, this swinging system has two glaring flaws. It's pretty much all automated. You can hold R2 and click nothing else and you'll get to your destination. And as long as you click R2 before you touch the ground, you'll never actually hit it. And this swinging system is slow compared to Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man Web of Shadows. But, I understand why it's so slow considering it has to run all these textures and work with the PS4 hardware. Luckily, this was fixed in Spider-Man 2. Well, speaking of Spider-Man 2... Well, here we are. The entire video led up to this section here. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. By far the best swinging system to ever be seen. Not only does it provide many of ways to swing around, but you can also adjust the swing assist slider. The swing assist slider all the way up makes it kind of like the first two games, automated. 
but if you turn that slider all the way down, the swinging becomes very momentum based and the physics just take over. One of my favorite features they added was the loop-de-loop. -loop. It provides a great way to gain speed and it's super satisfying to do when you actually pull it off. My only critique with it is you have to be diving before you can actually do the loop-de-loop. -loop. I think it would be better if we could just stay on our web as long as we want as long as we don't let go of R2. This time around, the max swing speed isn't unsatisfying and you won't lose your momentum every time you shoot a web out. It's very, very satisfying to swing around the city while going 3,000 miles per hour. Or you could just f***ing fly, I guess. As most of you probably know, Spider-Man 2 introduces the web wings, which I'm pretty sure have not been in any Spider-Man game before this. They allowed you to glide around the city like you're Superman or something, but if you use them for too long, you'll lose your momentum. One thing that I think is very underlooked is point launching has received a big boost in this game. Due to the max speed being increased, that means they can increase the point launch boost speed by a ton, and it sends you flying now. And the same goes with the spider dash ability. Not only was Peter given the ability to use it, but you go almost two times faster than in the previous games. Another ability that I found myself using a lot was the corner tether. It allows you to tether onto a corner and easily turn without losing any momentum. It also allows you to spin around poles and it sends you flying even further than the loop-de-loop -loop sometimes. Something that I spammed a little too much was the slingshot ability. This allows you to slingshot yourself into the air and you like actually get sent flying this time. Not even an exaggeration, you like literally fly. This can either be done on a slingshot pad or just not on a slingshot pad. Doing it on a slingshot pad sends you way further than doing it normally, but they both send you very far and you go really fast. And with that being said, thanks for watching this video. I really do believe that Spider-Man 2 has the best swinging system to date. And this video took me a really long time to make, mostly because of procrastination. And I also have credits to all the clips I use in the description. So thanks for watching. Bye guys.